there we go. So this is Pussy Willow by Margaret Wise Brown. And the artist is Leonard Weisgard. And he is my favorite children's book artist. Here. Ready? You can look this way at the pictures and then hopefully the camera can pick it up too. Once there was a little pussy cat, not much bigger than a pussy willow. He was just as soft and gray and furry as those little flowers clinging to the branches all about him in the early spring. So he named himself Pussy Willow. It was a wild green world that he was born into. A forest of wildflowers grew above him. Some things were bigger than he was, and some things were smaller than he was, and he wondered at such little things. Suddenly a bug jumped out of that wild green world and up to him. Where were you good to bite? asked the bug. Nowhere and not at all, said Pussy Willow, and he rolled the bug back in the grass with his soft fur foot. Bright moonlight nights came down the sky. The peepers were peeping, and the tender buds and roots and wildflowers were a gentle smell on the warm night air. A little peeper peeped out of the pond. How do you know it's spring? he peeped. I don't, said Pussy Willow. When the groundhog casts his shadow, and the small birds sing, and the pussy willows happen, and the sun shines warm, and when the peepers peep, then it is spring. And splash! He was gone. Are you all right there? A deer mouse came softly out of the forest and tickled Pussy Willow on the nose. How odd, she said. A cat not much bigger than a mouse. Little fat shadow, said the mouse. Come home with me and live in my house. Kerchoo! I am not a shadow. Shadows don't sneeze. Kerchoo! Pussy Willow gave such a big sneeze that it blew the mouse over. Time passed, hours and minutes and nights and days, and Pussy Willow grew more fur. Wild strawberries bloomed about him. Green grasshoppers hopped over him. Suddenly, Pussy Willow looked up. His Pussy Willows were gone. Gone! Long yellow things and little green leaves hung from the branches where his Pussy Willows had been. Where had they gone? He would go and find them, and he would look until he found them again. So <clears throat> off he went through moonlight and starlight and thunder and lightning, looking for his pussy willows. He searched through the day and the night and the wind and the rain. Spring passed, and along came the first butterfly and bumped bang into Pussy Willow with a soft and certain bang. Out of my way, out of my way, said the butterfly. Who, who are you and what are you looking for? Pussy Willow sat squarely on his tail. Pussy Willows, he said, did you ever see any gray fur flowers that look just like me? Up in the air, up in the air, said the butterfly. Anything that anyone would look for is up in the air. So Pussy Willow climbed a tree and fell asleep in a bird's nest. The birds came home and found him warm and purring next to their eggs, so they sat on him too and kept him warm. Little friendly birds came out of the eggs and grew up and learned to fly. Everything that anyone would ever look for is up in the sky, they sang and flew up. Pussy Willow climbed all around the treetops, but he I never learned to fly. Oh, it's okay. One day a bee flew by. Who are you, and where shall I sting you? Don't, said Pussy Willow. But tell me, did you ever see any gray fur flowers that look just like me? Sassafras, buzzed the bee. Look in the garden. There he is. <laughs> so Pussy Willow climbed down into a garden, and there he found cabbages and roses, scarecrows, poppies, and pink tiger lilies, but no Pussy Willows. He went up to a big fat cabbage. Did you ever see any little gray fur flowers that look just like me? But the cabbage sat there in its great green silence and never said a word. Up popped a mole. Anything that anyone would look for is always in a hole. In a carrot, said the rabbit. In a garden, buzzed the bee. In a smell, sniffed the skunk. And the woodpecker pecked at a tree. Pussy Willow hunted through moonlight and sunlight and down by the sea. There he met an old hermit crab. The hermit crab came snapping out of his shell, waving all his claws. Shh, said the hermit crab. Why 
Why do you walk by the sea? <laughs> Said Pussy Willow, I walk where I please. But did you ever see any little gray fur flowers that look just like me? Scuttlefish, snapped the crab. I see that you are a pussycat and the beach is no place for pussycats and the sea is full of fish. And if you are looking for flowers, all the beautiful ones are in the sea. The hermit crab snapped back into his shell and scuttled off sideways into the deep green water. So Pussy Willow wandered through purple asters and goldenrod and pearly everlasting, through blueberries and blackberries and raspberries, but he still couldn't find his lost Pussy Willows. The wind began to blow. The leaves turned red and fell from the trees. Nuts fell on Pussy Willow's head and apples dropped about him with a loud and sudden Pussy Willow met a red squirrel hiding acorns. Are you a nut? asked the red squirrel. What do you think? said Pussy Willow. Did you ever see a nut with whiskers and pointed ears and a swishing tail? I'm a cat looking for Pussy Willows. Did you ever see any little soft gray fur flowers that look just like me? Look under the leaves, said the red squirrel. Everything that anyone would look for is always under the leaves. The air grew colder, the snow fell. Pussy Willow hunted through snowstorms and black branches and across the shining ice, until at last he fell asleep, a very tired pussycat under a thin branched bush. Pussy Willow took a little cat nap, and while he was asleep, something began to happen on the branches high above him. The sun shone warm, and he dreamed that there was a soft purring in the air around him. The groundhog came out of the ground, and when he saw a little cat in his shadow, Thump! Get out of my shadow, he said, and woke him up. Then all the birds began to sing. The red-winged blackbird, the meadowlark, and the bobolink whistled in the air. The peepers in the pond began to peep. It was spring. And when Pussy Willow uncurled himself, there were his Pussy Willows, for he had fallen asleep under a Pussy Willow bush, and it had burst into bloom above him. Everything that anyone would ever look for is usually where they left it, hooted the owl. On a bush, sang the robin. In the sky, sang the lark. In a song, in the spring, in the dark. Now then up pop Pussy Willow. Everything that anyone would ever look for is usually where they 